Today, we're going to unbox this special ECC. I call this thing a second generation solar charge controller in close quotation. I might be misquoted. Got so excited, I forgot to take a video, but for the purposes of what's inside, we're going to unbox this properly. I bought this last year, uh, way back December, and it was delivered on January. I wasn't able to open this up or set it up due to the second lockdown and now I get the chance to have this open and we're going to see what second generation looks like this one is from the Morningstar TriStar family this is a TriStar MPPT 600 volts charge controller with DC transfer switch this is basically a game changer for those who are looking for a single line connection or say single PV string and you have an off-grid and a GTI or inverter what will happen is TriStar will take control of your PV. Now, depending on the situation, during the daytime, the PV will be redirected to your grid tile while your battery uh, off-grid is being charged by the grid. Uh, this one, in conjunction with grid tie and an off-grid, is best of both worlds. If you have an uh, existing grid tie, which is normally 600 volts maximum VOC, so it fits perfectly here. And then you have a hybrid off-grid or just a pure off-grid with 48 volts. This will work in tandem with this charger. This is 600 high voltage charge controller. That's the reason why I call it second generation because most or majority of solar charge controller only has 300 250 to 300 are the latest ones but this one TriStar is more advanced and I've been using this for the past five years they've come up with a 600 volts charge controller with DC transfer it has four models so make sure before buying this type of solar charge controller look first what's good for you or what during your design let's start if you are an installer and you're looking for versatility of your client which wants a hybrid backup or a off-grid backup while using its single string connection or system or setup whatever you call it this is the best solar charge controller for you. Okay, let's open up. So, as mentioned earlier, get so excited. I tear this up. It's a huge solar char charge controller. It's really huge. It's 24 inches. We have the manual, oh, hefty manual. Not just an ordinary ma manual, but Morningstar really make poor, poured all the, its efforts on making this one. Second, you have your BT, S or RTS, the battery terminal sensor a temperature sensor so that's only what's into it put this aside and whoopsie it's really huge okay. it's 
That's it. C, it has a isolation transfer switch or a DC transfer switch. It also has already a battery circuit breaker. Sixty three amps because this controller is six hundred volts sixty amps. So it's properly designed. So it's trip if it's down on it's up. What else do we see it in here? Isolation. Just to give you a perspective on how big is this is we're going to get the 60 watts, 60 amps solar charge controller. Same brand. Oops. So that's what it's look like. Pretty small. And so let's add up a 40 made from China solar charge controller. See? It's really huge. Huge. So let's check on the sides what are its markings. The topmost, this one is pure aluminum, like any TriStar. So the model is here DBTR. Okay. So it's made in Taiwan, TriStar. Nothing much, just holes. Let's take a closer look. So version MPPT 60 volts, 48 DBTR transfer switch. So you have the maximum system voltage, 600 VOC like any other inverters where your single string is 600 volts so it's really best suited for this one maximum input current 15 amps maximum operating voltage 5 by 2 5 volts and 60 amps its output 48 volts DDC. Okay. On the other side, no markings much. And at the back, oh yes, you can see that this one is plastic. Metal, plastic, metal. Still, just the holes ready for, and it's front, uh, top. It's a perforated, si similar to its uh, original design, so that the heat can dissipate. So it's a large aluminum, and you have your protected electronics inside here so you can place a filter in here just to prevent any droppings like lizards which normally uh, loves to put droppings so you can place a filter in here a tricon filter uh, like an aircon will do okay
that's it for now. If you have any questions or suggestions, write, just write down in the comment section. What do you think of this, I'd say, second generation solar charge controller? And leave a comment if you like. Thumbs up.